How to overcome social anxiety easily. Social anxiety is an incredibly crippling condition. Being afraid to speak up essentially renders us voiceless, which in turn means we become passengers in our own lives. We end up with no say about what we do, what we achieve, where we go, or who we become. So, what can you do to start kicking some ass again? Let's take a look at how you can become socially bulletproof. Understand where social anxiety comes from. Social anxiety comes from a desire not to be embarrassed, shamed, or hurt. This is an evolutionary response that is intended to prevent us from making matters worse and to protect us from damaging our own likelihood of survival. When we want to impress someone or make a good impression, we begin to picture all the ways that the interaction could go wrong. And in doing so, we end up triggering a fight or flight response. Only this freezes our ability to make a rational decision and makes us more likely to embarrass ourselves. So, what can you do to prevent this fate? Practice makes perfect. The first objective is to discredit the worst case scenarios that you're picturing in your head and to start picturing the best case scenarios. Start picturing yourself impressing the people you're talking to and making a great impact. Now, that's easier said than done, though, seeing as this reaction is something that has become deeply ingrained. And this is why we might use a technique from cognitive restructuring that is known as hypothesis testing. This means you test the notion that you might embarrass or upset yourself and thereby prove to yourself that you're wrong. And you do this by facing those fears and by testing the worst case scenarios. So, for example, if you were worried that you're going to embarrass yourself by stuttering, then you could test that theory by purposefully stuttering in conversations. Do this enough times and you'll prove to yourself that no one laughs and no one thinks less of you. After all, times have changed since our limbic systems evolved. The problem, of course, is practicing all this in a way that won't cause lasting damage. So try going to more parties where you only know a few people. Try speaking to strangers in the street or in stores. And each time you do, practice putting yourself out there and even intentionally embarrassing yourself. That's how you become desensitized. And that's how you become socially limitless.